All right, we're hanging out at a 2013 PIA convention, and I just happened to run into Norman Cannon as he's coming out of his Don't Be a Hero, or How to Not Be a Hero uh, camera presentation, right? That's correct. So, Norman, it's wonderful to see you back here again. Yeah, it's great to be here. As, as always, one of the great things about being here is running into you and to all the people that I know and, uh, and from around the world, from sponsors to friends and colleagues, and it's, it's awesome. It's, it's one of the great, greatest things about uh, PIA. Cool. Now you just did a seminar. What uh, I know you talked about uh, to how to not be a hero. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I know it's kind of a wacky title because uh, it's, it's a little bit deceiving, but it really refers to the dangers of being a hero. And I, what I mean is the, the be a hero generation from GoPro. And I th this, this topic is about um, trying to stay safe. I think people, the main thing I can tell you about it, because I can't give you this seminar right now, is um, people take the GoPros and such cameras as very lightly. They take them as, as, as if it's no big deal. Like, this is not really a camera. I'm not jumping a, a heavy camera. It's no big deal. And they take the, the subject very lightly and they are not aware of the potential problems like snagging lines and pilot shoots and, and things that are really, really can hurt you. Uh, there's already been fatalities. And I started this conversation about a year ago in hopes to bring awareness to everybody that's approaching this because when you approach it as a serious camera guy, you actually are thinking, okay, this is a serious camera, and you take into consideration all those possibilities, and you try to prevent them uh, by, you know, by taking on precautions. But when you're thinking, oh, this is no big deal, this can really get you in trouble. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, what the what this workshop is about, and it's more about bringing awareness to everybody about it. So there's a, a bunch of people out there that might be the the 30, 50, 100 jump. Uh, jumper, they're thinking about going out and buying whatever small format camera fits their budget or looks the looks the coolest that they can wear on whatever kind of jump. What advice would you give them before they just go licking and sticking that camera on their helmet? Well, I think that uh, there's a couple of things I can say. One is really think of it as a big deal, even if it's a little camera. It's a big deal. There's a lot of snag points the way they, that people are mounting them. And when you take the attitude of it's no big deal, that's the kind of attitude that'll get you in trouble without you knowing it. And the second thing is you should talk to other cameramen that are experienced and uh, experienced people and safety officers from your drop zone because they have recommendations too and you should follow those recommendations. But be very careful, even experienced jumpers are taking this as no big deal because that's how they're treating it. So just talking to an experienced jumper that has one in their helmet is not enough. It really needs to be somebody that's camera aware, snag aware, you meaning like snag points on a helmet aware, and of course a safety officer. Very cool. Well, Norman Kent, one of the most famous skydiving videographers in the world or uh, cinematographers in the world. It's a pleasure to take a few minutes and chat with you as we've done at every PA for, I think, the last four or five events. And uh, anything you want to share with our audience before we run off? No, it's just a, a pleasure being here. If you're not here, you should come next time or still, still the week to go. Just come on over. It's, it's really fun. There's a lot of celebrities here to, to talk to and meet and, and uh, starting with Douglas over here. <laughs> so uh, please come on over. It's really fun.